Alright, so before we get into this video, I just wanted to kind of throw out a little giveaway that's going on. So a, a sponsor of mine that I often shout out in videos and do also as well in this one is called GE Tracker. They will be in the description down below, but they have informed me that they are giving away one free membership this month. So if you guys want to be entered into that, go ahead and post your GE Tracker name in the comments down below and I will pick a random winner. Other than that, let's get right on into the video. Am I a pretty girl? Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and today we are here with another money-making method, so this can this can vary widely. Personally, I'm just going to put this at how I make a meal a day doing pretty much nothing. And you guys may be like, well that sounds too good to be true, and I'm going to tell you that that's, it's not. It's literally, it happens, and it's not, it's not luck, it's um, something that will go down after this video just this one specific method I'm doing but you can vary this widely and I look to show you guys that here in a second so this is how I've made money on my medium level account I'm not going to get into specifics on how much I've made because it'd be spoiling the series but it does make me a decent amount of money and uh, yeah we're gonna get right on into it so I'm going to go to the bank and grab what we will be doing and that will be putting together malediction wards so as you guys can see here I have 15 pieces of a malediction ward or I guess five malediction wards and uh, basically all you have to do is just put them together and you make money. No, I know, sounds a little too easy. After this video, keep in mind this will not be as profitable. It, it may not even be the most, it may not even be profitable. So I recommend you look up the margins beforehand. However, I'm going to go over to a sponsor of mine and their website, GE Tracker. They have a cool little feature and I'm going to show you guys how you can apply this in other methods than just this one. Alright, so we are going over to GE Tracker right now. This is a website of mine that I use, also a sponsor as I said. but. If you have if you have the premium service, you can use one of these tools. You do not need the premium service for this thing to work. You can you can find these on your own. It just makes it a bit more convenient. So we go over to item sets and crafting. You guys are going to be able to see a bunch of different ways that you can combine things in game and potentially sell them off for more. So as you guys see here, malediction wards just by buying the shards and then putting them together to make a ward itself is 300k profit. Odium is 270k profit, and from there you have a ton of different things of just putting together sets of different armors. Um, so I mean, realistically, I'd take anything above 100 to 150k because once you're down here, this can get a little varied, and uh, if there's not a demand for the page set, then you might end up not making that much money. It may not be worth your time. For this example, of the video we will be doing malediction wards. So what you're going to want to do if you don't have this website and just want to look up stuff, all you have to do is just type in these pages, calculate how much it would take to buy all four pages, then from there you can go and uh, put, find the page set price. Once you find the page set price, just subtract the price for the four, four pages. So what I do personally, if you are just doing like malediction words like I do, I go over and just type in part of malediction. You're not going to find anything else in the game. Then from there, just take the approximate offer price for all of these. This is what you're going to want to put in your offer for. So as you guys can see here, in total, you should be spending about 3.4 mil on uh, the entirety of the shards that you're going to need. And then from there, you can sell them on for 3.7 and uh, make about 300k. So that's what I'm going to be doing for this video. I'm going to get in and show you guys how I go about doing this. All right, so came back over to uh, old school. And before we get into this, I'm just going to say something real quick. What I'm going to want to tell you guys is malediction shards and odium shards will go through the roof I'd imagine after this video depending on how big it gets so what you're gonna wanna do is maybe check those first and if they aren't the best then go with other page sets and other armor sets that's gonna be the best way of going about this this is why I've offered an alternative in this video since I know that maybe putting together these shards may not be the best thing for you so let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys how I go about putting these into shards because you can't just run out with all 15 of them you'll probably die well you probably won't die but if you do you're gonna lose a hell of a lot of money and what the hell is happening on my screen all right so I'm gonna go through what you're kind of gonna want to need so personally what I bring is I bring some like anti PK or gear just your typical like black DI just so that majors can't get me really um, wouldn't risk too much in this you don't want to lose money off of your gear you could go out there with nothing on and pretend like you're not doing anything out there but that leaves you a little uh, unprotected so that's up to you depending on what you want to do uh, if you're going out with just gear and showing people that you actually are doing something out here I'd recommend just taking a weapon so that you can attack back during fights um, on top of that personally I take just a ton of cerebrus and uh, sharks that's probably the best way to go about this because you typically won't eat them but when you do you're gonna need them um, from there, stamina potion is really good, a prayer potion just in case, and uh, typically I bring two sets of shards. You can bring more or less depending on how uh, much you're willing to risk. So with the malediction shards, um, 
after putting on protect item, I'll be able to keep all of these, which is, no, I'll be able to keep all of these, which is 6.06 .06 mil, and I'll end up losing this, which is 109k, which is why I'm not too worried about losing that. It's definitely more worth it to make two rather than make one, but it's personal preference. Uh, typically, if I have more that I need to do after this, I'll take the rest out there if I see that the coast is clear. So, uh... For the next inventory, I'll be running three. But for now, I'm going to show you guys how to get there and basically what to do. So, you're going to want to go to Edgeville with your glory and go ahead and pull the lever to the south. So, once you're up here, get ready to log out because there could be someone standing next to this lever. Once you find that it's clear, you're going to go ahead, run north, and slash the web. If you're coming out here without a weapon, probably should have mentioned this earlier, bring a knife. I'll put it on screen earlier so <laughs> that people can remember this. So, once you slash the web, it's pretty self-explanatory, it's not too hard. So you're going to want to just run from over here all the way into this little pit right here. So, it's not too bad. I'll kind of speed it up and show you guys how I go about running there. But if you guys know how to get there, then uh, yeah, just go ahead and do it. Fuck, what is this thing? Once you've made it on the out okay, so once you've made it on the outskirts of this volcano, you're gonna wanna run to the very center. You'll see a little smithing icon, just go ahead and forge these over the molten lava. So uh yeah, it's not too bad at all. So oh wait, is it technically magma since it's still in there? Yeah, I think so. Uh so what you're gonna wanna do? We'll just make them. Once you make them, you're pretty protected because if you die you're not gonna lose anything as they are one item now, so you're good to go. Um, from here, you have two methods of which you can get away. You can go ahead and go here to the obelisk, which I will be doing and teleporting around until you're below level 30 wilderness and can teleport with the uh, glory. Or you can just run straight south through this gate right over here and just run until you hit level 30. Personally, I think the obelisk is is a little quicker. However, it's a little less safe as you could get teleported somewhere where there are PKers. So your preference, decide what you want to do. All right, then once you have reached the... Uh, Level 30, just teleport back to wherever you need to go. I'm personally teleporting back to Edgeville and doing another trip. But if you're not doing another trip, feel free to just run to the GE and go ahead and sell off everything you have. So I'm going to go ahead and do uh, these three, and then I'll be back here in a second. Hopefully I don't die. All right, so once you are done, just go ahead and sell off your Malediction Wards. Personally, since I have a lot, I don't like to just dump them in the uh, Grand Exchange because, you know, it could drop drastically on me. But uh, if you only have one or two, you could probably insta-sell it and be more worth your time. All right, but that'll be it for me today. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like. Also, if you guys want to see more in the future as soon as it goes live, make sure to subscribe down below. Uh, you can always hit me up in-game if you want to, Large EXP Lamp, or in the clan chat, 07 Helpers is one that I uh, chill in a lot of the time. Twitter's in the description down below. But yeah, other than that, hope you guys have a wonderful